Hello everybody, <coughs> today I'm going to talk about um, zebra puzzle. So most likely you know about this puzzle. Um, the, if you know, if you do not know, just go to wiki page and um, it's <coughs> often called like Einstein puzzle uh, and uh, here's the text of the puzzle. So. I'm going to show you how to solve this puzzle using uh, C++. So let's uh, open the text editor. So let's create a folder. Let's call it zebra. Zebra.cpp. And I'm going to paste here the text of the puzzle. Uh, so let's me should be out to feel let me switch to text mode and uh, I'll do it manually <coughs> so here is the text and I'm going to comment it also and let's start uh, the implementation so first of all all this thing is going to be check function right and um, we are going to have a different um, uh, let's uh, let's first uh, read the puzzle, right? There is a five houses. The Englishman lives in the red house. The Spaniard owns the dog. Coffee is drink in the greenhouse. The Ukraine drinks tea. The greenhouse is immediately to the right of uh, a worry house. The old gold smoker on snails. Uh, cools are smoked in the yellow house. Milk is drink. In the middle house, the Norwegian lives in the first house, the man who smokes Chesterfield lives in the house next to the man with the fox, cools are smoked in the house next to the house where the horse is kept, and the lucky strike smoker drinks orange juice, the Japanese smokers smokes uh, Parliaments, the Norwegian lives next to the blue house. Now who drinks water, who owns the zebra? And there is also another uh, condition. Uh, it, uh, all houses painted in different colors. Um, everybody different nationality, dif different pants, different beverages, uh, smoke different brands of cigarettes and uh, Statement six right means uh, you're right. So what I want to do there is um, uh, different things. First of all, color right. There is uh, uh, beverages, also uh, uh, animals, pets, also uh, four things. It's uh, cigarettes and last thing it's nationality. Okay. So I'm going to uh, make enumeration for each of these types right. So what colors first of all we have right so we have red green um, then we have ivory yellow and blue so this is colors next thing what we have it's um, beverages coffee tea milk orange juice and water so this is drinks so what else we have pets right snail snails fox horse and zebra did i miss something uh, dog i missed dog so next thing is um, brands of cigarettes right old gold cools Mr. like strike parliaments there is a five right so and um, and then last thing is nationalities englishman So five nationalities. So we have five properties, and for each property we have five different um, things. So let's um, read uh, all these uh, statements, right? 
It's must be on to each guys. Guys, it's painted a different color and there. So like um there is a five things, right? There are five houses. Houses count five. So um it must be the five houses are painted painted in different colors. So this thing means um for each each house, right? Uh, let me make the function which will do check and I uh, think I'll move all these statements down here. So here is it. Um, this statement means for each house, for each property, um, everything is different, right? So we have like sort of solution and um, solution ij is not um, equal to any of um, solution from k in in the house right and we do not need to permutate fro from zero because uh, we already know we checked for previous houses so we just need to check for, for this thing and uh, this solution not equal to kj um, so if it's equal we know we, we fail check because so what is solution solution um it's going to be um just a array and for simplicity i i'll make integer um and we will have houses and uh, properties count and integer it's um, what kind of value of uh, property like if it's so um like if it's uh, house color it might be right red green in very yellow or blue or so on. and also <coughs> i want to add uh, some uh, placeholder which is going to be like some some value negative one is might be good value so um <coughs> we will have like placeholder negative one which is means we didn't put any any gas for our um, value for like for color or like for beverage or for pet and so on <coughs> so here is it i want to also check if it's um all of these solutions does not uh, call to our place placeholder and if we pass all these checks um, at the end i will return true but we have uh, more checks all these things so what else i want to check Engli englishman lives in the red house so what i want to do um, for all houses i want to check nationality nationality so let's make me enumeration for all of this thing so we have um color right Be beverage pet and nationality and also five right <coughs> Did I spell it correctly? Let me spell it right. So um, nationality. So if nationality in Englishman lives in red house, nationality equal and uh, and what um and um, I color not equal red. We return false, right? And also we need to check for for uh, placeholder, so not equal placeholder because it might be placeholder. So in this case we could the Spaniard on on the dog. So we do similar thing. Uh, nationality Spaniard pet dog pet. This one is simple coffee drink in the greenhouse. So we can do color uh green 
be beverage coffee like this ukrainian uh, beverage tea greenhouse is immediately in the right of inventory house this one is uh, slightly tricky right um so we check for color right greenhouse is immediately to the right of inventory house so it means uh, on left side of greenhouse every house right so if it's green and i greater than one and i negative one color and it's not placeholder right like this next thing snails uh old go so cigarettes uh, this it spells like this cigarettes right let's be consistent cigarettes uh, old gold then pet snails then pet placeholder yellow house right so again cigarettes oh we do not wish check anymore greater than zero mm, yellow house right color yellow milk is drunk in the middle house so middle house it's a house with number uh, zero one two right so house number two um milk if it's not equal and it's not placeholder this one is simplest thing so norwegian lives in the first house so also this one is simple because it's zero zero so this one is um i'm always confused about uh, this thing lives in the house next to the man with the fox the man who smokes lives in the house next to the man with the fox fox what does it mean so on right side of the man with the fox i guess so we have this thing it's kind of similar so i'm going to copy paste it um so this guy has to be greater than zero and uh, pet fox like this so this uh, also similar smoked in the house next to the house where the horse is the horse and to remove this thing uh, lucky strike beverage orange juice japanese so with nationality we already had something so i'm going to pay copy paste this thing Japanese. and uh, next to the let's use this thing uh, color that's it and there is a question i'm going to compile it. Uh, let me make uh, main function and i'm going to compile it just to be sure it's compiling properties and uh, yeah let's me make the short uh, s stands for solution chester spell it i'm just going to copy paste it so i misspelled it here as well okay it compiles so now the algorithm itself so this one was check and uh, let's have function which is going to be find solution and um, i'm going to send uh, two parameters why um, first parameter is going to be house and second parameter is going to be property okay so i'm going to iterate through through um, all different types of uh, properties because we have five types for each property like for house uh, color we have like five colors right and i'm going to permutate it 
out here and now my solution so house and uh, property i'm going to assign it to this thing and check so if it's uh, passing check i'm going to iterate through for new you know, generate like new property or house right so um new house is going to be old house it's one but um it might be greater than four so i want to jump to uh, zero so if we jumped through zero we also want to um change a property so we are going to iterate for all different houses and different properties it's going to be five by five 25 different uh, things right so if we jumped we are going to property so i'm just going to check if uh, if this one becomes zero i'm going to add one otherwise nothing and i'm going to run again so first of all if uh, we iterate for all these things I'm going to immediately return true or I'm going to recursively try to find solution and house new house you right so in this case return true so we did check and it didn't work I want to we did run for all checks and nothing worked um, I want to restore my solution all the way and return false. This is a simple implementation of uh, backtracking algorithm. And uh, now I'm going just to run it, right? First of all, I want to initialize it. Uh, let's use p for property zero. H zero H count H house property initialize with placeholder. We want to start from zero, and here is it. If we did find, and otherwise I'm going to print no. And in this case, if solution find, I'm going to print the solution. So I'm just going to iterate all those things and print all these things mm, property zero color i will make this function color uh, beverage color to beverage to pet cigarette and nationality and probably h plus like this so i'm going to make uh, functions which are going to return color to value so we can have some uh, colors and you know i think i'll make some pound define define uh, string defy is it correct thing uh, uh, str, right so we take x and we do case x return uh, hash x something like this we do not need any call so what i'm going to do star red would it work you expected color mm. okay it looks like it worked now to average beverage next um, pet and uh, national uh, cigarette And last one to nationality. So hopefully that's it. 
Hopefully it would compile. It does not. Nothing. Uh, What's wrong? Let's do this thing. Cause it takes integer, it doesn't take um, enumeration for this reason. It's, yeah. So let's see what kind of result we will get. Hopefully it would work, right? It did not work. And for some reason, very, very first check wasn't right. House property not equal underscore what is zero yeah now it looks like it worked right so uh, let's just check all these statements right englishman lives in red house englishman lives in red house correct spaniard owns the dog spaniard owns the dog correct coffee is drink in the greenhouse coffee in greenhouse crying drink tea uh, drinks tea. Greenhouse is immediately to the right of Inverie house. Inverie green. Hmm. This is not right. Ah. Uh, and if. Ah. Uh, equal green and I equal zero. If I equal zero or like this so all these things i need to fix i zero or this thing um so it will uh this is wrong this is more correct I equal zero and uh, yeah, this statement is just like kind of complicated. Yeah, hopefully now we will get corrected. So let's try it again. Oh, no solution. Hmm. Calls are smoked in the house next to the house where the oh next it means probably not on the right side on both sides right it might be on both sides yeah it's like on left or right side okay so i'm sorry i'm not native english my english is not native language sometimes i do not understand exactly what does it mean so i think i get the me pull the meaning from the so immediately on the right this one is correct one but next it means um, it might be on left or right side so it's kind of complicated check so I, what I want to do I want to have some function which is next boolean next to next so and this function will take um, house okay so and it will return so if uh, house uh, greater than zero and uh, house minus one and property equal equal placeholder or um full equal value so this is first check like if house greater than zero and uh, uh, on uh, left side we have value right or if house less than house count negative one right and plus one property placeholder or value right so so this one is right and this one i want to do if uh, Chesterfield and next to so it takes I pet fox not okay so this one and not next to I pet horse okay this one is 
and not next to eye color blue. hopefully this time it will work yeah we got solution so let let's check it out again english man lives in red house right spaniard owes the dog right coffee drinks greenhouse right green drinks tea right greenhouse is immediately to the right of inverse right snails old gold calls yellow house milk in the middle of house uh, in the first house fox fox is here horse next to the horse here horse orange juice strike orange juice parliaments blue house next to the blue house here is it that's it um so the question is um, what the question who drink water who drinks water who owns the zebra so water is norway man and zebra is japanese so let's check it out here the answer zebra japanese water is norwegian so we got correct answer thank you for watching and uh, bye